Hi guys, greetings of the day, myself Vijay Tavardhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of plane surfaces. And the example problem is like this, a pentagonal lamina having edges 25 mm is placed on one of its corners on HP such that the perpendicular bisector of the edge passing through the corner on which the lamina rests is intended 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to VP. Draw the top and front views of the lamina. Now according to the given question, one has to construct a 25 mm pentagonal lamina which is resting on corners on HP and the perpendicular bisector is uh, inclined at 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to VP. Now to solve this problem, <coughs> one can start solving it uh, using a line command with 0.13 mm thickness. One can draw the XY line and after drawing an XY line, make use of a text command and name the corners of the line as x and y and mark vp as well as hp to represent the first quadrant and after which one has to construct the pentagonal lamina for which one has to go to an applications and in the macro run macro and select inside polygon the inside polygon is available in this folder that is c drive program files, solid edge v19, custom, inside polygon and then bin. Inside the bin, one can find the inside polygon. Just open the inside polygon. A dialog box is going to be opened. So in the dialog box, se select the flat length and the flat length is given as 25 mm in the question. And the number of sides is given as 5 and click on the apply relationship and click on the screen anywhere so that the pentagonal lamina is going to be obtained whose thickness is supposed to be changed to <coughs> 0 0.5 millimeter now this pentagonal lamina is supposed to be a corner resting now we are getting it as a side resting now make use of a rotate command rotate in such a way that it is going to become a corner resting now once we get it into the corner resting pentagon then one can place the pentagon wherever it is necessary then make use of a smart dimension command show that the size of the pentagon is 25 millimeter <coughs> now to get the front view make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 with the help of these endpoint symbol project all the respective corners till it touches the xy line to project the front view and after drawing it make use of a text command name the respective corners so let us name this corner as a this corner as b this corner as c and this corner as d and finally this corner is going to be E. <coughs> Accordingly, the front view will be A dash and then B dash as well as E dash inside the bracket. Then we have C dash as well as D dash over here. And then since uh, after which uh, make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter, join the front view. While joining the front view, join these lines as a split line so that it will become easier to draw the projections of B dash and E dash in the later stages. And after which this completes the first stage after which <coughs> in the second stage the bisector is inclined at 30 degree to HP. So for which one has to construct the perpendicular bisector make use of a line command with 0.13 mm thickness and draw the bisector over here. Now after drawing this bisector this bisector is inclined to HP at 30 degree first and VP at 45 degree. Now after which the end point of the bisector will be named as A is already a corner and the other point will be named as M. Accordingly it will become M dash in the front view over here which cannot be seen by the observer. Hence it has to be kept inside the brackets. After which the front view has to be rotated at an angle of 40, uh, 30 degree to HP. Now select the front view in such a way that the complete uh, front view is going to be selected. Now make use of a move command move with respect to A dash as a reference. Now A dash has to be relocated on the XY line with the help of point on element symbol. And then make use of rotate command. Make sure that A will be on the XY line as a fixed point and C dash D dash is going to be the rotation point and the angle of this rotation is supposed to be taken as 30 degree to HP. Now after making this as 30 degree to HP, one can check the angle whether it is correct or wrong. The angle between these two lines is supposed to be 30 degree. Yes, it is 30 degree. 
Now make use of a line command and complete the top view by drawing the projectors from the front and top views. That is from the right extreme corner that is C dash D dash. Uh, so let us connect C to C. Along with C we have D also as well as M also. So let me project the corner M also over here. Then CDM has been completed. Then make use of a line command. Then complete the remaining projectors that is uh, B and E first. Now along with B we are connecting to B and then E is going to be connected with the help of this endpoint to here and then A dash is going to be projected on the M so that <coughs> the every points has been completed. Then make use of a text command then rename the corners here like A, B, C, D and this is going to be E and the median endpoint as M. Now one can make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter complete the construction of the top view when, it, when it, the lamina is inclined at 30 degree to HP. Now after drawing this top view after drawing this top view now the bisector is inclined at 45 degree to VP but the length of the bisector is going to be reduced because of the inclination of the lamina with respect to HP at 30 degree. Hence for the bisector if I am going to measure the length the bisector here it is going to be shown as 38.47 but the bisector between AM when it is inclined with respect to HP it is reduced to 33.32 and this is called as apparent length this is called as true length and here in the question it is given as 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to VP they are called as angle theta and phi. So on the angle phi 38.47 has to be established and 33.32 has to be obtained with the help of apparent angle construction. Now make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13. One can draw the constructional line at an inclination. Now this inclination is supposed to be set it for angle 45 because the angle phi is given as 45 degree in the question. So after setting this angle for 45 degree. 45 degree one can solve this problem now 45 to stay the other in the birth I love once again angle between yes now it is showing us 45 degree and afterwards <coughs> now make use of the point command with the thickness of 2 millimeter locate a point on the 45 degree line which we have created anywhere now after creating this point this point will be considered as a and initially we have to consider an am now go to arc by center point whose the arc thickness to be 0.13 and select the center point of the arc which is the end point what we have created then the radius value should be set as 38.47 that is the true length radius and then just draw an arc from one side of a line here and then on that location one has to construct a locus and after constructing a locus make use of a arc by center point command select the same point once again and then the second radius must be equal to 33.32 millimeter and then one has to construct a one more arc so that the required line is going to be obtained then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 join this point along with the end point of a line which is nothing but AM uh, which is an apparent length which is at an apparent angle. Now make use of an angle between command measure the angle of this line with respect to XY line which is showing as 55 degree. Now the apparent length is drawn at an apparent angle 55 degree. Now select the top view completely and reposition it at an apparent angle. Now one has to select the top you completely in such a way that the text as well as the line just has to be selected then make use of a command called as move move with respect to a now the position of a is the end point of this line or the point what we have created earlier and then make use of a rotate command select a as the fixed position and the m is going to be the rotated and m has to be obtained on the end point of a line what we have created that is apparent 
apparent line or the apparent angle then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 starting with the right extreme corner that is C connect C to C dash properly <coughs> now after connecting C to C we have C D M so let us uh, project all the three points up to that so that it completes one complete uh, set of projections and then uh, the next right extreme corner is B so connect B to B here now along with B we have E also so let us connect the E to E and then remaining is A so connect A to the X Y line now afterwards make use of the text command name the respective corners so this corner will be named as A dash and this corner will be named as B dash and here it will be named as C dash and here it is going to be named as D dash and here it is going to be E dash and this point is going to be marked as M dash and now make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter join A dash to B dash and then B dash to C dash C dash to B dash and then to E dash and finally a dash. Now this completes the required constructions as per the given conditions. Now if any if you are having any doubts you can feel free to contact me at this number and please do subscribe to my channel so that it will give us an encouragement to create more and more videos and also kindly share this video to all your first year engineering students. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching my video.